Hello everyone, back today with another video. I'm going to go ahead and click ready uh, and we can get into the game. I uh, just finished my um, game against Lotto Rush. Uh, that game did not go so well. Uh, hopefully we can get back on track against this player. Uh, that is if the wonderful red screen that everybody loves so much uh, goes away sometime soon. Uh, so I guess I will cut back in if it doesn't take too long or we will... Okay, there we go. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and advance in the center like I normally do with this setup. I believe I explained in a previous video how I usually play this setup. Uh, usually we'll move this, these four pieces here in the center, um, allow the spy and the marshal to kind of go whichever side that they need to. And I feel that is uh, pretty sufficient against these types of players. Uh, again, I use this setup against bronze and silver players. So he is advancing on the left side. Um, I'm going to run away with that lieutenant. I would not like to trade that, but that is my desired result there. That bomb usually doesn't discover much. It's more of a deterrent that tries to get them to focus inward. So um, I I don't mind hitting them for them to hit it with something kind of worthless. He's probably going to hit my sergeant, uh, but I'd prefer he hits over so I can take it with it, my captain. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to put these four in the center, and I kind of got it set up where either piece can go either way. He seems to be advancing much more seriously on this side now, so I'm going to bring these pieces over. Okay, I'll take that, that's fine. Um, I do have my marshal to guard it, but even if I didn't, uh, I'd feel comfortable doing that. Okay, well, that's not the best thing to happen, necessarily. Let's do that. I, okay, that's fine. Um, I'll move that sergeant up. Okay, and he'll scout it, that's fine. Okay, well, I mean, he gets a free captain. I'm not going to reveal my marshal to take the major. Uh, I'm just not going to do that. Um, I'm someone who thrives on having the info advantage, not giving up info. And I don't feel I would play all that well if he knew my marshal and I didn't know anything from him, really. Okay, well, let's run back in here. You know, actually, I'm just going to leave that there. Because the lieutenant here... Okay, I was contemplating hitting that with my major if it was a captain. I think captain and lieutenant would be somewhat rare, though, to see. So I just left that there, and in the off chance it was a captain, then my major can take him on the next turn. Okay. Um, I get the feeling that this is going to be a strong side, so I'm probably going to want to get my spy in a slightly better position. Okay, whatever. Um, Alright, I will take that with my colonel. Actually, I feel like this is probably his marshal. So since I feel... This is a tough decision, because if I take, then he's almost certainly going to take if that's his marshal. Now, the chances of this being a spy are microscopically low, I think. But on the other chance, I think this is quite possibly going to be his marshal. So even if he runs away with it, I think I'll probably follow it, black I'll follow it back. And I think I'll blind hit this. Um, if it's not his marshal, then that's sad and good bluff by him. Um, but, you know, I'm going to hit this. Okay, well, hopefully that's not the spy. Okay, well, it's not, so that's good. Okay. Um, I'm not sure I feel about that still. Um, I'd prefer, actually, to trade marshals there than to get that captain, actually. And I'm just going to end up uh, giving up this captain to take that. Lieutenant, okay, good. I just want info at this point. Hopefully it's general. Wow, he's going to trade with me. Okay. Well, I'm not doing badly at all at this point. Um... That's no way that's his marshal. That would be a crazy marshal spot. Okay, yeah. Um, I didn't want to let his general in. I think that would be absolutely insane to be the marshal. I'm going to put this right here. Okay, well, that's a good thing I did not just run up and hit that with my colonel. I'm going to move over. Uh, he's not going to take the bait. Okay, maybe he is. Yes, he is. Excellent. All right. Well, he probably figured my spy was over here. Uh, since my general came from over here and moved across that way, but what he didn't remember is that my spy started over here and ran over here while I kept my general toward the center. So that's going to be the end of this game. Um, there's no way he's going to come back from that. I uh, just need to trade off colonels. Um, that would be pretty improbable if he were to even make a game out of this, I think. Uh, but um, I'm going to retreat with the marshal and then come over with this colonel. 
Okay, I'm gonna let him trade that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, like I said, just need to find the last kernel. It's probably on this side. It's probably actually one of the pieces I was threatening with my marshal. Um, I wouldn't doubt that. One of these two. We'll see, though. I'm going to hit that with my sergeant. Because um, the sergeant's going to die anyway, and who cares. Okay, so he's going to scout my miner. Not some big deal there. I'll bring the scout out just to check this piece. Uh, could be like a major, probably. Oh, colonel. Even better. Alright, I will take that for sure. Uh, and he's going to... Continue going down this way, that's not the meth, uh, path you want to take, and he's just going to surrender. So I guess he figured I had it well under control. Well, that was a good rebound game after what I would say was almost an embarrassing loss against Lotto Rush. Pretty poor play for me on that previous game, you can see that if you haven't. But this one's much better, uh, much more dominant win, quick win, happy with that, so GG.